This is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 25. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it, when it cometh. For the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, from whom I learned the truth and the breakdowns of the scriptures. I also want to give much love and peace and blessings to all you brothers that are teaching the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai in truth and in sincerity. Um, and also much love and peace and blessings goes out to all the hopeful elect out there that are watching these videos, repenting, coming back to your God, your power, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. And, uh, and, you know, acknowledging your identity as Hebrew Israelites having faith and keeping the Most High's commandments to your best ability, you know, because the Most High is raising up his house. But, th you know, this lesson, as I read in Proverbs 20, 35, is going to be about being not afraid. Don't be afraid, brothers. Don't be afraid. Because we're, we're about to enter into some pretty scary times where things where you think about... You know, naturally, we understand what it means to be afraid. And truly, to be afraid is to be in the state of fear. And fear is the emotion that comes upon you when you are at disagreement with what's about to happen to you or to things around you to your possessions and so forth like you may feel the sensation of fright or fear or being afraid when they, in things like car accidents and possible injuries and you know something happening to your children you know losing losing money possibility of losing all your money losing your job but what we have to understand is that we don't have to have this feeling. We got to overcome the feeling of, of fear and being afraid when we're presented with the worst of the worst outcomes and, you know, situations that look like they're not for our benefit. Because why? It says the Lord shall be like confidence and shall keep us from being taken in these things. You know, because we know that the enemy, Esau, Edom, uh, the enemy of the Israelites, the so-called white people, starting with their elites, their, their bankers, the, the, the Rothschilds and so forth. They're about to come down on the world, man, ha killing people in the name of what? Their new world order because they want to microchip everybody and they want everybody to be in obeisance to their new um, governmental structure that they're about to lay out. They have the frameworks laid as far as the doctrine, uh, the, the nihilism, the lack of morality, the homosexuality and so forth. So they got that in the play. Now they're going to implement the technological uh, aspect in the full application of what they want to achieve. man. And with that, they got to eliminate all people that oppose them in the, the top fraction of. Of the opponents that they want to eliminate is the men of the Lord. All the people, all the Israelites that believe in Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. It's Esau Edom's intention to kill us, man. And he, you know what? He's going to kill some of us. Yes, it's true. Some of us brothers, we're going to have to die for the word. We're going to have to be faced with, you know, either accepting Esau's new world order system or getting beheaded and Lord's will and the, the, the uh, Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai gives us the strength and the faith to not accept this devil's new world order unto death. But you see, all throughout the end to the bitter times that we're going to enter into, the thing that we have to get out of our mind to help us to be faithful unto Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, is fear. We got to we, we gotta eliminate that fear aspect, man. Because like I, I, I've been sharing testimonies of dreams. I've been having dream upon dream. I have dreamed, you know, of, of being very afraid of being in, in situations of predicaments. Like, damn, how am I going to make it? How am I going to be alive? 
Am I about to die? But that those are those are just demons because in truth, we have to be bold. Because we have we have all types of examples in the scriptures that Yahweh Yahweh Shai has been with his men when they were in times of doubt, when they didn't know that they had a way out, when they were, you know, the the, the scriptures talk about the floods of the enemy, the you know, and so forth. You know? But don't be afraid. Brothers, be bold. Why? Because we have the creator on our side. Our creator is more powerful than this devil. Is more powerful than all the spiritual demons and the, you know, the, 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 you know, the, the, the forces that we got to fight against. So therein, what, 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 where is the need of fear? If fear is what the emotion that comes upon you of uncertainty, when you don't know what's going to happen to you, but yet you have a power that is behind you that will prevent your worst, the things that you don't want to happen to you from happening. And where's the need of fear? There is no need of fear. Okay? Because Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is a great power. Okay? This is Psalm, this is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 51, verse 1. It says, A prayer, a prayer of Yahweh Shai, the son of Sirach. I would thank thee, O Yahweh and King, and praise thee, O God, O God, my Savior. I do give praise unto thy name, you see? But he says, Yahweh, our Savior. Because when you think of a Savior, a Savior comes to the aid of people in the times of their distress, such as be it a burning building, you know what I'm saying? It's drowning, you know what I'm saying? Captured by enemies, sicknesses, infirmities in the flesh. You can get saved from a sickness. You know what I'm saying? Like bleeding out. Oh, the Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's our Savior, man. He's going to save us from those things. It says, For thou art my defender and helper, and has preserved my body from destruction. So our, our, our bodies is going to be preserved from um, destruction, man. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is going to defend his men and help us. You know what I'm saying? Esau is not going to be able to impose his will upon us. Anything that happens to us is going to be the will of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. It says, and from the snare of the slanderous tongue, right? Because Esau ate him, he's going to slander us. He's going to speak words against great words against us. Just like it tells you in the book of Revelation, the beast which spoke great words against the Most High. You know what I'm saying? That's what this devil has in his repertoire against the men of the Lord. They already came out with those voice activation systems. Let's let's look this up. Spoke great word. Great against. I can't find it now. Spoke. Let's just go back to the scripture, man. It says, And from the snare of the slanderous tongue, and from the lips that forge lies, and has been mine help, helper against mine adversaries. You see? So, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai ultimately is going to help us against the, 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 the opponent, man. Esau coming in with the, the plague, pestilence, you know, the, the Ebola outbreaks and so forth. The Most High, it's within his plans to help his men. Okay? It says, and has delivered me according to the multitude of, the, of, of thy mercies and greatness of thy name. From the teeth of them that were ready to devour me. And out of the hands of such as sought after my life. And from the manifold afflictions which I had. So, Yahweh Shem Shai is able to deliver from manifold afflictions, man. Which means many. When you think about that, it's like, 
it's great enough to get delivered out of one sticky situation. And you'll, you'll be ready to praise the most high when you when you get delivered out of a situation. But think about it. Many. Jacob's trouble is the time is going to be the chime of many fold afflictions. So he's going to help us out. The how about Shemiah Shai going to help us out the, the famine, the, the pestilences, the diseases, the martial law troops, the chip. Ultimately. The hour of temptation where the world was going to have a decided factor between bowing down to Esau, Edom by taking the chip or being, you know, rejecting it, you know. So Psalm 140. 140 and 1, it says, Deliver me, O Yahweh, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man. And the man of violence is obviously the so called white man. He's obviously the man of violence. Look what he's done. How do you think he gained the earth? By conquer, by pillage. And we got to ask and pray to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, to keep us from this man. Because it's within his, his mind to just obliterate us, man. Order to make him bow down to the new world order, which in itself is violent. It says, which imagine mischief in their heart, continually are they gathered together for war. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. Salah. Keep me, O Yahweh, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent men who have purpose to overthrow my goings. And yeah, look, this man, he, he wants to overthrow the mission of the men of the Lord, which is to be saved. He wants to deter our salvation. You know what I'm saying? He wants to stop us from getting from point A to point B. Being an obstacle to what we got ahead of us, which is the hopeful to be crowned. To be with Yahweh Shai in the kingdom. It says, the proud have hit a snare for me and cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. And this devil, he has, uh, like I said, programs that would make us say things that we didn't even say. To make us say things like, oh, we're terrorists. We're going to kill people, blah, 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 blah. You see what I'm saying? That's the snare. That's their cords. That's a net they want to trap us in. So to where if we get trapped up, they can do what they please to us. Because you, when, you, when you understand when an animal gets caught in a trap, it's at the mercy of whoever is caught in it. You see what I'm saying? It's, but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to deliver us. It says, they have said gins for me. I said unto Yahweh, thou art my God. Hear the voice of my supplications. So through all this, we have Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's why we shouldn't be afraid. We have a power that can save us. Because when you think about a fish that's caught on a hook, can it call upon Yahweh? Can an uh, eagle or let's say uh, a, a pigeon that's attacked by a greater bird, can it call upon Yahweh? By Shem Yahweh Shai? No, it can't. It says, Oh God, the Lord, Yahweh. The strength of my salvation. Thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. What is Yah? See, because to cover, that word should be mashach. Or oh, salaki. It's um, uh, sakak. Uh, yes, it's sakak. To entwine is a screen. To fence, to, co to cover over, to protect. To defend, to hedge in, joint together. Shut up. See? So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to protect our heads. Meaning our, our state of mind. To where we, you're, 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 you're above water. Keeping our head above water, as the saying goes. It says, in the day of battle. Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. Further not his wicked device. Lest they exalt themselves. You see? It's because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not going to grant the desires of this devil, man. This is the prayer of David. You think the Most High is not dealing with King David? <laughs> He's surely dealing with King David. So if King David prayed this 
prayed this prayer for us, it's already sealed. Yahweh Ba Shimeon Shai is going to cast down this devil, man, when he comes with his wrath. Brother's going to receive spiritual powers, man. Come on, man. It says, as for the head of those that compass me about, let the mischief of their own lips cover them. Let the burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits that they rise not up again. See? Because when these missiles get shot off, that's it's over for America, man. Any brother that's ensnared, you might, you might be about to die. You might have already been dead for several days. You might... You might uh, be in a concentration camp. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to rain missiles on this place and destroy it and deliver us out of the, the, goddamn, the goddamn America, man. It says, let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. Evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him. I know that Yahweh will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the right of the poor. Surely the righteous shall give thanks unto my name. The upright shall dwell in thy presence. See? So yeah, we're going to have that, that mercy through the grace of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai to, to, to dwell in his presence. See? For 2 Timothy chapter 2. 2 Tim Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. It says, For the for God the Most High hath given hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love, and of a sound mind. You see? So the most high didn't give us the spirit to be to be fearful. When you're when you're afraid of something, you're shaky as well. You you your 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 decision making becomes blurred when it comes to any emotion but especially fear and anger but especially fear that's that's the most shaky emotion that you can get when you're afraid you're either f fight or flight you become animalistic you see what i'm saying but we have power dynamis and the sound mind is sophronismos and it means self-control, disciplined, a sound mind. So that, that, that ability, ability to control yourself and through any situation. That's what the Most High gave us. Okay. So 1 John uh, 4 and uh, 15. It says, whosoever shall confess that Yahweh Shai is the son of the Most High, the Most High dwelleth in him, and he in the Most High. See? So we believe in Yahweh Shai. We confess him as the son of the Most High who died on the cross for our sins. So what does that mean? That means that the spirit of the Most High is channeled within us every day. Even at times when, brothers, you don't feel like it. You feel like, damn, what's going to happen? You can feel nervous. Hey, the Most High, he's in you. So you got to let that, that aspect shine. It says, and we have known and believed the love. It's a lot. Let's see how much time I've been recording. It says, uh, and we have known and believed that and believed the love that the Most High have to, have, have to us. So we, you have to believe that the Most High has love for us. The Most High has love for if you love your son, what's the worst that you're gonna do to him? You're gonna do things, of course, that may be injurious, but you know what? It's to break him down for his benefit. It's to break him down, hurt for a season, but improve. Forever. See? Things might hurt you. Things might seem bad. When you get when you get, you know, it casted down. You get fucked up by the most high. But no remember it's through love. It's not through hatred. 
You see what I'm saying? Most high, man. And trust me, when we in this situation, we're going to feel the most high's love. We're going to well understand, just like we do now, that the most high truly loves us. You see what I'm saying? It says the most high is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in the most high and the most high in him. Therein, herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. See, Yahweh is. That's what his name means. He is. So the way Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is, he just, he, he's, he's there. You know what I'm saying? He's he he the same spirit that we have on us, the most high has on him, vice versa. Same spirit the most high has, we have too. So because of this, we should we have we were to have a, a godly, godly behavior and a godly mindset of of unfear. Because what is the most high afraid of? Think about that. What is the most high afraid of? Nothing. So what do we as creatures that have the spirit of the Lord within us, what do we have to be afraid of in this world? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. So, as it says, we're going to have boldness in the days of judgment. That's heavy, man. It says, there is no fear in love, but love, but perfect love. So like, let me see if this is the last scripture. Yeah, this is the last scripture. It says, Herein is our love made, Salaki, verse 18 says, there is no fear in love. There's no fear in love, brothers. There's no fear. It says, but perfect love casteth out fear. See? So when you have times of trouble, like I, I mentioned a dream that I have, I don't want to go into the details, but... I woke, I was in the midst of the dream afraid, but you know what? As soon as I woke up and I became conscious, that's when the spirit kicked in. I'm like, you know what? I got to cast out that fear, man, because that doesn't, that don't need place within us. Okay. It says, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. You see? So if you fear you're not made perfect through Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. If you're scared of what's to come, if you're scared of the famine, you're scared of the martial law troops, you're scared of uh, the famine, you're scared of the pestilences, you're scared of all this shit that's going to go down, you're not made perfect through the love of the Lord. Because you have examples of the love of the Lord towards men that he cared for, which he delivered them, you see? Delivered them, delivered them from the very things that wanted to cause harm from them. So there's no need for fear. Okay? We love him because he first loved us. See that? So giving all praises to Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai. And